Now today you join me at Harbour Creek Motorhomes down on the south coast and we are checking out this IH Motorhomes 600 FB S4. 600 means it's six meters long, FB means it's got a fixed bed and it's got four seat belted seats. It's a two berth camper van based on a Fiat Ducato chassis and it's got some nice little touches and it's really well appointed. So let's go and take a look around this uh, IH Motos. Well, am I forever grateful that the IH Motorhomes is indoors because it is awful out there. But anyway, let's take a look inside and see what we've got. So access is via this huge sliding door, as we can see, nice and big. And you've even got uh, somewhere to put a table on the outside, which is nice for when you're having a barbecue. You've got an electric step there that slides out, makes it a bit easier to get in. And let's head on inside. So starting at the back of the camper van, you got a lovely, huge fixed bed. Now this is based on a Fiat Ducato, and Fiat Ducatos are lovely wide vans, so you can actually sleep widthways without the need for anything like a, a sort of a cutout in the side of the van or anything like that. You can just sleep widthways. So this is a nice big bed. You got windows all round, which is really nice as well. As you can see, you got nice big windows all the way around two at the back and then one either side and they've all got blinds on them with fly screens as well surrounded by cupboards you've got plenty of storage on this van they're quite cleverly done as well so you just press them to open them and yeah plenty of storage in there you can see the lights the leds flickering a bit now that doesn't happen in real life that's just the Shutter speed of the camera, uh, interfering with the LEDs there. But yeah, plenty of storage and you've got speakers above, plenty of light, and then a huge opening skylight as well. You could stand on the bed and look out. If you went to watch some motor racing or something like that, that'd be pretty good. So yeah, as we say, another cupboard on this side as well. Oh, it's got a bit of a glow inside. Hmm. Just next to this cupboard, you've actually got the controls for the heating. So it's got Truma heating and uh, Truma hot water as well. So lovely and warm. And they've actually put the uh, heating on for me, which is very kind of them. So it's actually roasting in here. Very nice. But I like how it's um, carpeted all the way around. Even the back doors are fully carpeted. And then just at the top there, uh, you can see you've got like little pockets so you can store your phone in the back there as well when you're laid in bed. Moving a bit further forward, you've got yet another cupboard. That's not a bad size actually. It's got a little rail in there so you can hang stuff, put t-shirts and things like that, shirts. Nice. And you'll see that this cupboard does actually kind of overhang where your feet would be in bed, but that's not an issue. Just don't put your head that end. As we move further back, you've got a nice big mirror with a light above it. Yeah, huge mirror. So you can see when you're getting ready. And then underneath the bed, you've also got access into the garage as well. Underneath that cupboard, you've got an outlet for the heater and also a little socket there, three pin plug. Now moving up from that cupboard onto this side, you've got yet another cupboard. Now this is starting to get into the kitchen area, so you probably put some food and things like that in there, but look how they're all carpeted inside the cupboards as well. Sand insulation would be very good in this. Then you've got a little shelf area, which is on top of a grill, grill and oven. Next to the grill, you have a three pin socket, 12 volt socket, and also that's a switch for the lights there as well. 
and then moving further down you have the fridge which is a lovely big fridge actually with freezer compartment as well now moving back from the fridge you have yet more cupboards plenty of cupboards actually yeah three big cupboards they've got plenty of storage you can see inside both of them you also have the pipe work for the uh, the hot water and cold water and also the uh, gas supply for what we've got under here a Dometic two burner hob and also sink so all one unit nice and easy to clean just wipe the stuff into the sink and yeah hot and cold water as you can see there Now what I like about this setup is when you are doing your cooking or washing up with the door open you can look out at the incredible view perhaps not whilst we're in the showroom although that Kepler is very nice but yeah if you're sat by the uh, the lake or by the mountains you can do your washing up with a great view out there now this huge door does also have a fly screen on it which I can't pull all the way across because that table is still in place but yeah you can see you have a fly screen that moves all the way across and that will close the whole door off uh, from nasty bugs trying to get in whilst you're cooking now moving across from the kitchen you have the washroom now I quite like the way they've done these cupboards they've actually got like reflective material as you can see on there it's not quite a mirror but it's very reflective it just makes the uh, the camp van look that a little bit bigger but yep, you've got your door into a nice big washroom. Very nice that this washroom also has a window. Now they don't always have windows, which can make them a bit claustrophobic, but this one does. Now people don't have to watch you doing your stuff. You have fitted to this window, you have a fly screen and also a blackout blind as well. Now it's all fully lined, so it is a, a wet room. But the beauty of it is your things are not going to get all wet because you have a cupboard behind the mirror so you can put your um, toiletries in there loads of light as you can see you have a light up there you also have a skylight that along with the window provides plenty of light but then yeah you also have that light another light underneath and another light above there there's loads of light there's also yet another mirror this side as well so it just makes the uh, washroom feel nice and big very good below the other mirror you have your drop down sink which all looks good ah, so the way that works is you would use your tap do you wash your face whatever and there's no actual plug in this you just put that back up and it tips down into the waste behind there. Very clever. Now there is a shower curtain in here just to protect the wooden door that's behind. So you just pull that across and obviously you can see your shower head there, which you can move up to the top there. It's probably about, I'd say the height of the shower room is about six foot two, something like that. So taller people would have to crouch a bit, but plenty plenty of people fit nicely in there and then below the uh, sink you have your Thetford toilet with electric flush and then just in front of that you have your shower tray quite like the little loo roll cover as well so your loo roll doesn't get wet when you have a shower and then on the back of the door which is often omitted people often forget about these this kind of thing but there's somewhere to hang your uh, your towel when you are in the shower so that's quite handy and that would be protected by this this cover as well this uh, shower curtain so it doesn't get absolutely filthy and also somewhere to hang your dressing gown as well now it's a traditional dinette swivel seats at the front which are nicely uh, upholstered with leather and um, fabric as well in the center there and then these chairs on this side as well which I've not seen chairs like this before, seats like this in the uh, in a camper van, but they look 
They almost look like train seats, but they're actually really comfortable. I've just sat on one. You can see that they're on runners as well. So that one over there is slightly further forward. I was just playing around by sitting on this one. But yeah, if you're going a long, long way, these are very, very comfy seats. Often these, these, this portion of the dinette can be pretty uncomfortable, but not in this one. So the table is removable if you want more space and you're not eating. Uh, but as you can see, it does also extend out as well. So you've got plenty of space to uh, have your dinner. Now this is a two berth camper van. So you have four belted seats, but it is a two berth. So ideal for families where they want to kick the kids out into a tent or no doubt the adults get kicked out into the tent. But yeah, nice place to eat. Now next to the seats, you have a nice big window. There's loads of big windows in this van. There's plenty of light, which is really good. A couple of spotlights and then yet more cupboards above that as well. Again, carpet lined inside, which is really nice to see. Now above those cupboards, you have another huge skylight, which provides yet more light and then some more um, actual lights underneath there. A couple of spotlights as well in the cab area. Now above the cab, you have more storage. This is a big sort of drop down. Good, good place to store your coats, that kind of thing. Or maybe shoes, that, that kind of stuff. And then just next to that, you will have yet another control panel. Now this is for um, battery status, water status, and all that kind of thing. So it tells you how much, in fact, it, there's even a little thing next to it that shows you how much gas you've got on board as well. So yeah, nice and smart. I quite like the way the, the heating control is above the bed, because that's usually when you alter the heating, when you're laid in bed, thinking, I don't want to get out. I need to turn the heating up. I don't want to get out in this cold weather. So that's nice. Continues with this uh, trim all the way around. This is the, the sort of the theme of this one. You can, there's a few different options you can have of color scheme, but yeah, this is like a blue and gray theme. And into the cab, which is, Standard Fiat Ducato, as you'd expect. This one is fitted with uh, sat-nav, DAB, uh, six-speed manual, 160 horsepower engine. It also has, which I really like, that um, is often lacking on camper vans, but it has built-in blinds that, mm, that come all the way across. And there's the same also on the side windows as well. They're really good. It just means that you, you don't have to mess around with a front cover, which is especially useful if you're wild camping somewhere. Now at the end of the kitchen, we spoke about this table on the way in, but it does actually fold away. So obviously the leg would fold away. I can't do it with one hand, but it does actually clip away. So that, that is there ready all the time, which makes it nice and easy to use. And then you also have an extension to the worktop that nicely folds up and just gives a bit more space for preparation as well. You're nice and close to that table over there as well if you need to use that. But yeah, plenty of worktop space for prepping. Now here is the button for the step. Now I'm not gonna to attempt to shut it because the table's in the way, but you can see even when you are uh, when the weather's a bit more like it is today, you have an, yet another nice big window on that sliding door. So even if you're having to cook with the door shut, yeah, you've got a nice view out of the, uh, the side as well. So yeah, plenty of windows on this van, which is really, really good. So let's take a look around the back and see what the garage, what the storage space is like in this. So open in the back. And yeah, you can open this side as well. And you can see that huge bed, plenty long enough and plenty wide enough. A nice thick mattress as well. That's brilliant. Underneath there it is a slatted base as well. And underneath that, you have a huge garage. Loads of space in there. 
And as you can see, the access door through to the living area as well. So if you do need to grab stuff, you can do nice and easily. I just want to show you another neat trick as well. This mattress is in two pieces. So you can lift that up, put that over there and slide that away. And that gives you full height. So you can store bikes and all sorts of different things. Really, really clever idea. It just means that your bikes are not out in the, uh, in the weather when you're traveling along and also just makes it less likely that they'll get stolen as well. Clever. I've just thought as well, actually, if you were traveling on your own, say you went, you want to go to a mountain biking center or something like that, you can leave one of these bits at home and sleep next to your bike. <laughs> I know a lot of people that have very expensive bikes would like that. Now, I hope you've enjoyed looking around this IH Motomes 600 FB S4. Um, if you're interested in one, come down to Harbour Creek, check out their website as well, which will be linked in the description below. But yeah, something a little bit different. Uh, based on Ducato, I really like it. It's nicely appointed, feels very luxurious inside, and it's got some nice little um, clever bits as well, which just set it apart from other Motomes. So yeah, please hit that like button. And if you've not already subscribed, please do. We've got loads coming up as well. We've got a nice big trip coming up as well in a couple of weeks, which is very, very exciting. So thank you so much for watching and we shall see you in the next video. Dream camper vans like the one shown in this vlog can be made possible by visiting Pegasus Finance. Visit the link in the description below to get a quote.